Over here at Full Speed Rentals this morning, we had to pick up the expert. They swapped out the handlebar here for us since it went out. And then we got a red sled. Today's gonna be good. Jerry's are itching to get at it. And this guy finally shows up with the, uh, what the hell is that? Some Swedish product in the DC backcountry. Been wanting to get it on a Lynx here all year, and uh, today it was available, so here we are. Thanks to Full Speed. The skidoo broke brakes there, so they put two rivets. All right, stoked to be getting up here with some fresh snow today on the Lynx Shredder Turbo R. So I rode a Lynx two years ago, and uh, this one it'll be completely different than that ride. Since we're on the turbo, they dropped a bunch of weight from the old chassis, you know, the Gen 5, and we got that cool rear suspension. But let's hurry up and get up there because I kind of picked this up last minute and all the guys were waiting for me this morning. So it's been snowing up top here for about 36 hours maybe. And there's definitely not gonna be a full reset, but it's looking pretty good. It is super dry champagne pal. If you've ever heard that term, it, the water equivalency to the snow is super low. So it's just, dry, dry powder that just washes right over ya. So, just a little reverse action in the middle of the trail here. Okay. Well, let's go see if we can find Team Jerry and catch up with him. Team Jerry, Team Jerry, you got a copy? Oh, the sun's almost poking through. Ooh, suspension's a little soft in this thing, I think bottoming out on the moguls. Oh, oh, oh. I don't imagine anyone's turned it up. Rental sleds are usually left pretty soft. Okay, I see. You know what? They were just talking shit saying that you weren't coming and I was like, I'm always coming, I wait all day. <laughs> Turn these shocks up a bit. So it looks like a beautiful winter wonderland here right now, but I'm riding on the hard pack underneath with this little bit of fluff. <laughs> I don't mean to complain about the conditions or anything, but I would have uh, rather taken this sled out in a, in a little bit better conditions. If I'm riding a shredder, doesn't that mean I have to do shredder things like jumps and drops?
going to dip out of the alpine here into some trees and see if we can find some untouched stuff because where there's no tracks it should be really good yeah i feel like i'm getting kind of skunked today with my ideas like there's more snow okay there's no snow here there was more snow on the trail up the mountain than there is here yeah. i'll go check on chris here i think he might be upside down What's going on <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. There's lots of fun little pillows through here. All right, we're on Jerry's sled now. Testing out the G5 compared to the Lynx. I don't know if I'll notice much difference. I mean, the... The different handlebars gives you a little bit of, or different grips, I guess, more so. Give you a little bit of a different feel. I think I like the, uh, the I think I like the feel of the ski on this sled better as well. Oh. There's definitely more differences in the handling than just what I mentioned, but hopping back and forth just for two seconds, uh, it's hard to tell. You know, it is the same chassis, same motors. Okay, I gotta find my 146 free ride with Chris. Apparently, it's overheating. What's going on? It's overheating. Overheating. I uh, might have kissed your bumper with my sled. Oh. Into him. I could see my bumper in your bumper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I might be buying one of those now. Oh. Overheating. <laughs> and the coolant's like a like brown. sauce color. Yeah. Oh. Should be orange, right? Yep. Oh, so if a head gasket goes, the shit leaks into the, the jacket. Compression uh. leaks into the coolant. Going full with water. Oh, I guess we may as well. Looks oily. Yeah. How much? Right, fill it. Fill her up. Check key. Yep, that that's the key. Wrong key. Now we're good. Hopefully we can get another foot of power tonight and then it'd be pretty good up here. That sun's just poking out all day right there. We'll go and find some other trees back here on our way out. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, roosted you guys.
good, Dad. <laughs> Actually, feel the muscles in my forearm from my thumb throttle today. <laughs> Since I'm on a finger throttle every other day. <laughs> We're on the other side of the... Oh man. Other side of the ridge now. I can't see a thing through here, but... Still feels a little deeper. Looks a little deeper. Oh my god. Yeah, that's my only option. Hand out like it's gonna stop him. Oh my god. No, don't go in the tracks, Chris. Come on. You're supposed to take a fresh line. Man, if it wasn't for these hard ruts under here, this would be so freaking good. Oh! <laughs> Park job challenge. It was intentional, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're going on a little recon mission here on the search for POW. The Abbey Danger is high today. Didn't see anything on the other side where we were, but just like all the banks in here, look at them all shedding. Wow, look at that. Oh, I haven't felt snow this deep all year. <laughs> God, I can't believe how deep it is. We got a professional cameraman set up here. It's a nice power line. You guys will really see how friggin' deep this is, if you couldn't already tell. Friggin' 
cruise control. I need to turn my heaters off. Ooh, I see a nice line there. Pillow jump, pile. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll go find the guys now. <laughs> uh, I just can't help myself when it gets like this. Can't believe how different the snow is here than where we were this morning. Jerry, where are you? Yeah, it sounds like you're stuck. Oh, I'm unstuck now, but I pulled up that drainage, and I didn't uh, didn't make it all the way. But fuck was that fun? Okay, we're back at the start here at the bottom of that first hill. Well, that was a solid day out on the shredder. Lots of fun. Uh, the morning was a bit weird, but we found some great snow in the afternoon. I would like to get out on it for one more day yet, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to give it back to now. But Thanks to Full Speed again for getting us out on that today. A ton of fun and also we have got my 146 in the shop here now too uh, just to stay warm for the night because we dumped a bunch of water into the cooling system so it's got to be in a heated garage now. And if you guys ever need sled rental service, parts, gear, uh, Full Speed is pretty much a one-stop shop for anything you need right here in town. Super convenient. And if you guys enjoyed the video, and want me to do you know more variation of different sleds and whatnot make sure you subscribe like comment so i could bring you that content thanks for watching muskoka the lot the lucky contestant winner who found the hole is richard from northern alberta and he found boulder t-shirt here so i guess he is claiming his prize Yoo what do you think richard you happy to find your shirt i wouldn't spend the night there i like my warm bed Nice bit though, eh?